absolutely fantastic, beautiful colours. Them were a gift for, for Mrs H from her mum uh, because she walked a dog for a uh, was it this morning or yesterday? Yesterday, and uh, they were a gift as a thank you. So she thought she'd share them in the midweek shave. So how are you doing? How's the week gone? Health good, shaves good, work going good, retirement going good, whatever. Um, we've got to get that lot off. And what we're going to use a very special brush. Uh, we'll show you that first. There's a saying, never look down the barrel of a gun. <laughs> Greg Wagner sent me this. Look at that. Fantastic. And they're live, so you better be careful. Synthetic, 24mm knot, I think, if I'm right. Um, and a secret compartment. In there, put some soap in there, whatever, pack some soap in, good travel. This is the metal bit, that's the weight end, and uh, this is a, a plastic bit. But fantastic! And it sits on this just stand, it comes with a stand like that. Beautiful, isn't it? So, um, Greg does make brushes and uh, on the, through his Facebook page and I'll try to put the info in the description box below if you, if you want to see what he does or ask something or whatever. But uh, thanks Greg, look forward to using this. Um, right, shaving soap, very, very um, standard, very basic really. The Real Shave Company, uh, traditional shave cream, step two, shave rich lather, They're different tubes they come with, I think it's a pre-shave shaving cream, different ones, and an aftershave balm and all that sort of stuff. I'm using my mixing bowl, um, I'm just going to wet the face, I'm not long, come out the shower as usual, but uh, you know. I have uh, washed out this brush previously, but uh, so there we go. Let's see how it let's see how it lathers up, shall we? I'll show you the razor in a minute. I haven't used that for a while. I always compare things to it. Um, I'm not a big fan on comparisons uh, when you think um, what's that razor like compared to that razor it's it's interesting but I've always been of the mindset that each razor is unique of its own but I can get uh, the interest it is interesting to find how different razors feel in aggression or weight or whatever to other similar razors maybe but, uh, just add a bit more water. I added that to the brush then, and I'm holding this like that so it doesn't hit the sides. That's uh, yeah, very very plain soap scent. But if I remember rightly, this is good. It is a good cream. So there you go, peaked to perfection. I like it like a meringue. I've had a meringue for ages. You, you rang my lord, meringue. Oh, I'm trying to be funny. It didn't work. Don't be lucky, danger. No, I won't. Yeah, very, very thick. Easy to lather. You can e even lather up your earlobes. Look. Well, I've had the last of my pheasant last Sunday. Um, very nice, roasted. And, uh, there's not a lot on a pheasant, uh, but very nice. Right, what razor are we using? Edwin Jagger DE89L. This one. 
as you can see the handles lined there and uh, a very again standard shave non-adjustable three piece and inside I'll show you we've got a pole silver super iridium uh, extra stainless which come in them. That's the last one in that box. Right, here we go. First pass Edwin Jagger DE89L using the Real Shave Company shaving cream rich, is it? Shave cream rich lather. I forget how good this razor is. This was one of the first uh, sort of good quality razors I bought. And I've always found Edwin Jagger to be a good company. Um, I have heard of people having problems in the past with them, but uh, in regards to certain issues or whatever, but I've always had good good service from them. Uh, in fact, well you may know this if you've followed me for a while, that uh, when I, I used to use this quite regular and uh, they seen my video or one of my vi videos and uh, they were thrilled to bits so they said as a thank you it's like to send me a little package this is a few years ago and I said oh thanks very much and uh, a package arrived and there's another razor in it similar to this and uh, some other odds and ends and it's very kind as a lot of people I have seen a lot of kindness since then well it's one of them right that was nice that was a thick or oh, very slick very, I, do you know what I'm going to say then just put your hand on that. I wish you could make these videos very interesting. Uh, very slick. And, uh, oh, I had a question. Why do you just use the tap or something? I can't remember the exact question. But it was why do I not fill the sink and not use... Why don't you fill the sink then shave like a lot of people do? instead of just using the tap. It's cleaner using the tap. I don't like a sink just floating with whiskers and scum. So I just, I just use, um, I presume it uses less water. I don't know, but uh, I do it because it's cleaner. That's for me, for my taste. That's why. Even that dog agrees if you can hear it. Right, I'll see you in pass number two. Okay, welcome back to pass number two. We're going to go back to this, um, I want to call it the gun barrel brush. Just going to dip in water just a bit. And I think this shaving cream's available in, well, it used to be Tesco's, Sainsbury's, and probably other supermarkets, chemists, boots of chemists, maybe. Um, I am going to be getting, when I pass the shop, um, Nivea's Shave Stick I've seen. Um, a couple of people have said uh, they're going to get it or they want to try it and, and that's good. I've not seen that before so I think it's a new line. Which is good isn't it to see these things just creeping in, they're testing the water maybe. And if they do well they'll keep making it, hopefully. The right, uh, the right way. Overhang on this, I should have said. is It's there, but it's very slight on this. Um, 
another question. God, I'm remembering. I read the comments, you see. Uh, again, thanks for all the comments. I love reading them. Please keep sending them. Um, I was able to answer a few on Sunday. Uh, I'll always try to um, answer ones that are questions, you know, whatever, but uh, one in one of the questions in, under one video was um, why is there such a thing as overhang on a razor? You know, why is there overhang? Why can't they make the blade so there's no overhang? Um, well, it's simple, and I'll just demonstrate why now. There's not much on this one, but the reason is, when you take, when you place the blade in, or take it out especially, because there's an overhang, it means you can see that, you can grip the blade and take it out. Um, if I can show you without, uh, so you grip. And it comes out easier without having to grab the blade. Uh, this bit is still sharp, you know, but it's not as razor blade sharp. It's uh, you've got to be careful with it, but uh, it's there just to grip the blade and make it easier to pull out of the razor head and um, and to place in like so. Right then, I lost my handle. Then look at that stripping the razor for it. Through a shave. Anything for you. Right, we'll get on with it now. Doesn't dissipate this uh, soap. There's a nice feeling to this. It's not, in my personal taste, not an aggressive razor. You can certainly hear the blade. Doing this job, and you can you can you can feel it, but it's a nice sort of medium feeling, solid feels nice and tight in the in the razor. And um, that's a lovely second pass, actually. No sense, just a plain soap, if that cream scent. But it does a good job. It's a good easy uh, lather, soap to lather. Cream to lather, and it's uh, well, does the job. On that note, we'll carry on with the job, and I'll see you in pass number three when we go against the old growth. Oh. Okay, welcome back. Just gather a bit more. As you can see, there's not a lot left. And then we'll go back under the tap, just a, just a flick. This brush, synthet I really like the synthetics. As with a few brushes, it's beautifully soft when it's dry, you can rough your hands, rough, ruffle your hands through and it's really soft. Application now, it's beautifully soft, but there's a, see that? There's a backbone to it, so it does its job on lathering up. It's not too soft where it's, well, so soft it just sort of splays, you know, some brushes really just splay out. But this is uh, really nice. And the build quality, Greg, you do a fantastic job, actually. Really nice. So unique and it's fantastic. Isn't it? Look at that. Any gun fans, you'd love that. Right, gun collectors. Any cowboys out there? John Wayne. <laughs> right then, here we go, against the growth. Good audio feedback. The razor stays nice and clean, but it's rinsed regular, so that helps. A 
there's no irritation. So, <laughs> someone said, I read in the comments, skin like a rhino you must have. Not necessarily. I still have sensitive skin. But the big thing is I can go over it because of this light, very, very light touch. Uh, some, everybody's different, you know, I could talk about it forever, but. It's uh, really helped my shaves. Really enjoying this. Really enjoying it. I would highly recommend this razor or oh, Edwin Jagger's razors. It's a uh, British made. And uh, of the same chrome, I've said it many times, used in the Rolls Royce cars. The chrome plates, anyway. And uh, get these corner bits so there's no uh, annoyance later. They're a good price, good quality, and uh, good for beginners. Yeah, if you use it generally, um, I personally would buy something like a Wilkinson's Odd Classic. If you've got a thick beard growth, I've said this many times, you may need to step it up because uh, unless uh, at one day's growth, yeah, okay, one, two days, three days, Wilkinson's Odd, if you've got a thick and coarse beard, it's going to struggle. They haven't got the blade gap to cope with it. It could do it, but it takes time, it would take more strokes and, you know. But this, maybe, would be a step up then, after that razor, in quality. If you think, well, I enjoyed the shaving, yeah, I'd like to get something a bit better than the uh, Wilkinson sword. Maybe something like that, and if you like this, then you can just branch out, then you're not wasting your money. On, um, it's surprising how many people think if they pay two, three hundred pounds for a razor, it's like the razor will perform everything for you. It doesn't work like that, sadly. Um, you just It's just a time consuming. You've got to get used to it. And if you enjoy it, there's no hardship there. But um, it's worth the effort, I'd say. Double edge, double, double edge? Double edge shaving is worth it. Worth the trouble. Right, enough of that. What time is it? What time is it? It's... Pick up time. I did say, didn't I? Gonna calm it down. Yeah, see, <laughs> shocked a few of you. Pick up time, baby. Okay. Welcome to pick up time. Brush holds synthetic. Holds the lather well. Really good shaving cream. This. As I say, you don't buy it for the scent, it's a bland scent, but uh, a really slick, thick, you can make it as wet as you want, but it's, it's really good, it does the job. As you can hopefully see. So what are you shaving with? today, this week. Do you tend to use one razor a day, one razor a week? Maybe you've only got one razor and that'll do a user. And there's nothing wrong with that either. We're all in it for different things, different 
well, different reasons, well not different reasons, to shave obviously, but our enjoyment is um, much different I suppose, because uh, what we want is different. Some people want more razors, they want to start a collection, let's try the slickness on it. And others want to say, no, I love these shaving, one razor, one brush, thanks very much. Beautiful. Just doing that bit there. Oh, just a tiny bit there. There. Lovely, very nice. Midweek smoothness. Very slick. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, that's really slick. Right. Oh, we're back to yellow, are we? any day off. Okie doke, Thayer's Lavender today. Oh yeah, smell the lavender. <laughs> it's good with the flowers. Not that there's lavender in there, is there? Beautiful, thank you, Thayers. And then I'm going to use this um, tobacco called Evin. I bought this when I bought my other lemon Evin. I don't think you can buy this. Well, you might be able to buy the cologne, but not this in this beautiful bottle, as far as I'm aware. But um, it doesn't smell like tobacco. You know, you don't go out like an ashtray. It's which I thought in the beginning when I've heard of tobacco. Um, oh, it's a lovely scent. It's um, I always do this. You're supposed to take this thing out, are you? I think. Yeah, this plastic bit. There we go. Now, have to hold it. Yeah, it's um, what I remember of it, the scent. Yeah, it's, it's um, very oldy scent, you know, like an old aftershave, where you'd expect it to be... That, an old aftershave, 70s, 80s, has a unique scent to it, where you know it's... This is the same. Um, quite... Mm. Musky. Woody musky. It's very nice. And I bought that in the L7 market in Kensington, Liverpool, when I was there. Don't know if they sell it now. Forgot if I don't put this plastic stopper in, because the alcohol in this, it'll evaporate. If you've ever been to a aftershave bottle and you think, oh, I've got a good bit in there, and you may not use it for months, you go back to it, you think, who's using this? <laughs> no, it's evaporating if it's not sealed properly. <laughs> dependent, dependent, thank you, your lordship. Dependent on the alcohol content. Very nice. And then we're going to use this B Men Post Shave Balm. 18, 18 1 12 hour moisturizer 
that smooths, protects, energizes, and controls shine. <laughs> Mrs. H has seen this in one of our shopping sprees somewhere. I forget which shop it was now. Was it um, Super Drug? Somewhere like that. Yeah, this is no, this is just a cream scent. Good cream though, fair play, that feels nice. Very uh, moisturising. A bit of an arcoy feel to that. The way it sort of goes on the skin. That's really nice. So I'm protected now. So there we go, one more look before we go. Very happy with that. So the star of this show would have to be the Gun Barrel Brush Synthetic. As I say, I think it's a 24mm knot. Uh, really nice, comes with a secret compartment, as I say. <laughs> you can keep your soap in there or something. Thank you, Greg. Uh, whoop, nearly dropped it. Don't want to smash the sink. There we go. So I'll clean this up now and get along. And uh, look at that, one last look. Fantastic, isn't it? The gun barrel synthetic brush. <laughs> and that's the stand that comes in. You can see it. That folds up like that. Fantastic. Right. The second thing is the Edwin Jagger DE89L. Three piece, non adjustable, standard aggression, slight overhang. Use the pole silver uh, super iridium, uh, extra stainless blade, very nice blade, works lovely, really nice. Not an aggressive shave for me, it's a medium standard, I call it, aggression, just, just normal. Um, but what you class as aggressive, it depends how long you've been shaving this way, and what your skin and your beard type's like. Um, very good though, enjoyed that. My own uh, shaving bowl, the real shaving company, uh, it's called Step 2 Traditional Shave Cream. No very bland scent, soapy scent, but it does a fantastic job if, if you want a good slickness, good protection, good cream. Um, then we rinsed off with water, we used the Thayer's Lavender. Um, this beautiful stuff, Evin tobacco it is, but uh, it's not a tobacco scent, it's just a nice scent. I'm sure somebody said to me, oh, it doesn't say tobacco on there, but that's what the lady, the, the Turkish lady in the shop said it, it was tobacco, so I, you know, I'm going by what she says, but it's a lovely scent. That was a few years ago now, um, and that's it. That's it, I'll leave you for another midweek uh, to get over it, I hope uh, I didn't keep you too long. <laughs> anyway, hope you have some fantastic shaves, thanks again for your support, um, take care of yourselves, um, you know, stay positive if you can, happy. Uh, as I film this, there's a bit of sunshine glinting through, so let's hope spring has finally sprung, hopefully we've had enough snow and Arctic winds now. Uh, head into spring when new life begins eh? so thanks for watching and I'll see you Sunday for the weekend shave take care